So we've seen in recent years, I think, a lot more um, attention on uh, fossil fuel subsidies, and I think there's a couple, couple reasons for that. One is the focus on, on, on climate change and, and how do we respond to that. Fossil fuel subsidies provide an incentive to consume fossil fuels. They make it harder for renewable energy sources to compete. The other kind of real motivation for addressing fossil fuel subsidies, where countries are essentially providing gasoline at a flat rate that's below the cost of supply and making up that difference, the benefits really disproportionately go to wealthier consumers who use more fuel. So the concern there is it's a very poorly targeted way of providing assistance to poor consumers. What we'd like to, to see come out of the meeting are some ideas around better coordination, better cooperation amongst non-governmental organizations who have a shared interest in this issue. We think there's a lot of very interesting work being done kind of on the ground and often that's not being linked up. Um, so we want to explore what's working and can we share some of those lessons across countries, um, what's not working and do we need to kind of rethink the strategy. For many people, subsidies mean much more than support from the government. It means support for the economy. People see it as benefits, government benefits, social benefits. If we don't get poor subsidies, what else <laughs> should come to us as citizens? The government learned an important lesson that the hasty approach to reforms probably wasn't in the best interest of the country and also not in the best interest of the economy. I think uh, we might be moving in the right direction with several good examples, good cases of where money for health and education is actually being used in the proper way. And if it's working in one area, in one city, imagine what can be done on a nationwide scale. When, when governments provide any justification, it's usually that mining creates jobs, or mining creates tax revenues, or mining creates exports. But what they need to do is show that of all the ways to create jobs, subsidising mining's the best. Of all the ways to create uh, tax revenues, subsidising mining is the best. And that analysis is entirely missing in Australia and in most countries. Taxpayers' money is being used to create excess demand for, for fossil fuels at the same time that governments say they're trying to reduce demand for those things. So whether we're subsidising the producers who make them or the consumers who buy them, the impact is the same. More fossil fuels being burnt, more climate change. There's already, I think, a good network of people that will be able to share the experiences of what's worked and what's not. And I think that's where we can move forward, is, is kind of just sharing that information. Um, the research is out there. It's, um, it's been said time and time again since yesterday, it's not the if, it's now the, the how. So I think the how is where we can work, on, work um, with the other countries. Everyone's talking about transparency, it's about sort of digging the data where sometimes in some developing countries and emerging economies it doesn't exist because the government is not cooperative. So it's uh, the big thing on transparency is sort of talking and getting the numbers out there. It's really useful to have the sort of NGOs, the key players sitting in the same room. We can share intelligence, we can share our expertise, and we can share our research. Different ideas about how you can communicate reform better, different ideas about how we can work together better. Um, I've learned a lot of ideas or a lot of things about different alliances, working with unusual alliances, working with groups that maybe I hadn't thought of before. I'm optimistic that people will continue this learning and conversation after this and then this will become useful for people when they can put that into practice at home in the process of managing and uh, rationalising and phasing out these fossil fuel subsidies.